Hello and welcome back to Terhi's Paper Art Channel. I am Terhi. Here is something that we're going to do today. Uh, this is an, a tag that I made some time ago. And uh, this is a little notebook I made a while ago. I have finished it with a better binding with this ribbon. It was just loosely bound earlier, but now it's uh, ready. And after that I have been embellishing it. I have used it as a place for my experiments with these tinsmiths paper embellishments. I've already shown you some of them, so I'm going to just quickly flip through until we come to some new ones. I think this one I have not shown you yet. It's a pocket with this card or this piece of paper. Then there is that one it's like a banner embellishment with one large banner and one smaller one with some paper bits and bobs and i have attached it with this staple Then, let's see now where's the next one. Just quickly, I think I have shown you this. It's a large pocket. And this one. This needs some little cards. There's two pockets over there. So... I'm going to use these elements and create some uh, little cards behind those or inside those pockets. And also I have discovered, I just had an idea, idea to how to use these particular piece of paper element to mm, make a tuck, tuck place for this large tag and I haven't seen this kind of tuck place anywhere else. Well, if you have seen it somewhere, please tell me. But anyway, I'm going to glue this, this sheet onto this thicker paper as I can see through these elements I'm going to add glue only to the element parts I don't want to uh, waste the glue and to work that is not required. Oops. Then I'm going to cut these elements off, off the paper. 
the the master board if you if you can call it that way and then I'm cutting this half and punching this circle, half circle off. Doesn't matter if there's a little bit of white left because I'm going to ink it afterwards. The same here. I'm not sure if I'm going to need that one, but We'll see. Mm, then I have some black ink here. Each piece is now inked around the edges. Then I found this little circle and I'm using this banner it looks almost like some kind of a prize and I'm going to attach it with a staple just like that and it's going here as an embellishment. Just a little bit of glue on the back. Like so. That's one little card and then this needs some kind of some kind of a label perhaps and for that I'm using these labels and snippets um, maybe maybe that blue blue label over there by the way i have enhanced this paper kit so that if you have purchased it you can go to your purchases and download it again and you will get the the latest version that has a little bit brighter colors I think it needs something behind I like to layer things I don't want to use that because the text will be hidden behind this but I'm going to find some of my scraps maybe there's a little piece of tea and coffee dyed paper. I'll be right back. Let's see now. There's a nice crisp edge over there with a nice brown color and maybe hmm Maybe I should rip it, rip the edge. Let's see now how it looks. I'm going to glue this. Ah, it needs some inking first. First things first. And brown ink this time. And 
then the glue. Then we will rip it, rip the edges so that it will look more like old, an old piece of paper. And then some ink is needed, brown ink. There are like two shelves. Should I put it on one of them or in the center? Maybe in the in the on the upper shelf so that there is still place for journaling if you if you like. Now we have these two embellishments and they are going inside here. I have attached these um, brads behind there or in inside the little holes. This larger one goes here and this one Maybe like this to create some more layering. Yes, that's nice. I like it. Then we're going this way. Let's see now, there was still something. There, there are the first doors that I have made, but I will use them a little bit differently. Uh, I think I have shown you this, but I made it double-sided afterwards. Just a little, also this one, just a little bit of bettering after having thought it thoroughly through. Now we have these doors and we're going to attach them a little bit wider and for them to open we need to um, use the scoring board. Just these, I'm going to score uh, this line here to create a hinge. We will need this tag for measuring. These doors will, will keep the tag in place. Let's put them on the, almost on the center, in the center of that page. Maybe I should mark it 
or yes let's make a little mark on both sides it's easier that way so the right side will come to this place and the left side it has to be quite tight so it, so that it will hold the tag but not too tight so that you can pull the tag out of there let's try these measurements a little bit of glue to that hinge side strong glue and then almost to the center but not not quite just somewhere here I will leave that bottom to show the right place for this side it's about there Half a millimeter up. I think it's good now. And let it dry. And then let's let's try this tag carefully. It will hold it quite nicely. A new way to make a top place. And if it, if you would have a smaller tag, it would fit in here, but this one was too large for it. I'm going to find something for this. There's this one I made earlier as an embellishment and now it's going to be, there's going to be a place for it here, but it looks too new. I'm going to ink the edges again with some brown ink. Both sides. That looks better. Just put it in there and the doors will hold it. I like it. It looks secretive. <laughs> you could even use this paper clip to ensure that it stays in place if you if needed. It's not necessary, but actually it looks quite good. When that paper clip shows is showing through there. So, that's it for today. I hope you like these ideas. And I see you next time very soon. Bye-bye.